All right, here comes the mutes. Bye bye. Hey everybody, welcome to a very special episode number 40 of Stuff I Never Knew. This is your weekly trivia game show podcast recorded live each week. Uh, this week we have four players calling in from around the world. Essa Blue, Fire Tiger, Dr. Pepper, and Lola. We're going to meet them all right after the first round. But in the first round we get right into it and we do usually a game. And today's game is Cocktails or Monkeys. You have to tell me, is the name of this word, is this word, is it a cocktail or a monkey? And we're going to go right to first time player, Essa Blue. Your first one is Black Howler. Is Black Howler a cocktail or a monkey? Um, monkey. It is a monkey, correct. Yes. We're going to jump up to Fire Tiger. Fire Tiger. A woo-woo. Is a woo-woo a cocktail or a monkey? <laughs> a cocktail? It is a type of cocktail made with vodka. <laughs> a woo-woo. Over to Dr. Pepper. This is Nancy Ma's Night Monkey. Nancy Maz, M A apostrophe S. It's possessive. Night monkey. That's got to be a cocktail. It is, in fact, a monkey. It is Whoa. a monkey. Nancy Maz, night monkey. <laughs> Over to one of the. Uh, oh, go ahead, Lola. Over what is it named Nancy? That's the name of the monkey. I didn't name the monkey. Why is it named Nancy? Who would want to be named Nancy? <laughs> it's called Nancy Maz, Night Monkey. <laughs> That's a stupid name. L Lola. <laughs> a Yorsh. A Y-O-R-S-H. A Yorsh. Is that a monkey or a cocktail? I'm going to go with a cocktail. It is a cocktail, again, made with vodka. Over to Essa Blue. Sazerac. S Monkey. S A Z E R A C is a cocktail. Ah! It's a New Orleans variation of cognac or whiskey. Cognac. cognac. Over to Fire Tiger. A cotton top tamarind. Is that a cocktail or a monkey? That's got to be a monkey. <laughs> it is. Totally a monkey. Sweep in the first round. Two for two. Dr. Pepper. A grivet. Is a grivet? A grivet. G-R-I-V-E-T. Is that a cocktail or a monkey? A grivet. I'm going to go with a monkey. It is. You don't want to drink this one because it is a monkey. Dr. Pepper on the board. Mm. And over to Lola. Lola. A Malbrook, yes. a Malbrook, M-A-L-B-R-O-U-C-K. It's a cocktail. It is a monkey, a monkey. What is a monkey? What? <laughs> I'm sure you don't even know what they look like. <laughs> it's a monkey <laughs> from the, I, there's there's a new world and an old world monkey list. And uh, the Grivet and the Malbrook come from the old world monkey list. So we have only okay, fire tiger. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> There's no monkey in a rub. So when you say old world, are you saying like Asia? I don't know. Or I don't, Africa. I, look, I just I just asked the question. So what's the new world? Are you saying America or Australia? I, the old world. <laughs> <laughs> How can you ask question and having any definition? I just go with the list. It's just it's a monkey. It's, a, it's on the old world monkey list, right? <laughs> I need that list. <laughs> uh, I will send it to you, Lola. Okay. All right. So everybody with one point, except for Fire Tiger with two points right now, we're going to go <laughs> over and meet first time caller, Essa Blue. Essa Blue from, I believe, Mississippi. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And I also heard you have a podcast. Can you tell me a little bit about your show? Uh, I do. It's um, a, kind of an alternative spirituality podcast called The Witch's View. 
it's not real big, but we're pretty good in our little niche. Sounds good. Does it come out weekly? Uh, it comes out whenever we have the time to get together and make it. <laughs> and how can somebody find it if they want to watch it? Uh, we're on iTunes, any podcatcher. You can, um, I believe the website is now headcanon.com. All right. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Round two is a little different. In round two, I ask you three questions. You get to sit in the hot seat. And then there's one five-point bonus question. So you can score a total of eight points here. Are you ready? Yes. How many amendments in the U.S. Constitution? Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Halfway there it is. 26, 26. <laughs> Your second question, what Smoky Mountain theme park is owned by country music star and was originally named Rebel Road? Dollywood. It has to be. Only one, the one and only. <laughs> All right. Archie and Edith sang Those Were the Days as the opening of what popular sitcom? Oh, God. Uh, and if it helps, I can do... Uh, is it a, All in the Family? All in the Family. I was going to do an uh, Edith impression. Oh, <laughs> Archie! It is All in the Family. You're at three Ooh. points. You have a five-point question coming up. You can get eight points total. Name the five things... My true love gave to me on the fifth day of Christmas. Five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Nailed it. You got eight points. That's going to put you in first place right now. For the moment. So For the Fire moment. Tiger gets me. Fire Tiger can sweep, but it ha nobody has swept yet on this new format. We're going to move up to Fire Tiger. Bam. You almost need like a theme music. Like yeah. fi Every time someone says Fire Tiger, it goes... Bah, bah, bah. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. All right. Are you ready? Well, Let's do this. Fire Tiger calling in from Western Pennsylvania. How's it going? Th <laughs> double thumbs Rainy. up. Thumbs ups works great on an audio <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Welcome Rainy to the call. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Uh, we have three questions for you and a five-point bonus question. Are you ready to get started? Let's do this. Uh, you can catch Al. Actually, Al, oh, I'm sorry. You can catch Fire Tiger and Dr. Pepper as their alter egos on the Disc Golf Examiner podcast. We just did a show. We did a nice interview with Lyme Warriors who out there fighting Lyme disease, uh, preventing Lyme disease. Uh, but check that out on Disc Golf Examiner. Their alter egos are Al and Brian. Uh, but on this show, uh, they go by their real identities, which are Fire Tiger and Dr. Pepper. I just don't want to confuse anybody. Fire Tiger. On the original season of Survivor, how many people started on the quest for $1 million? Thirteen? Thirteen is incorrect. Lola's shaking her head. She knows. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. <laughs> Name one of the two theme parks where you enter through Main Street USA. Is it uh, Disney World? Disney World. Or I'd also accept Disneyland. What popular TV show of the 1970s was revived in the 1990s and featured nine celebrities in an enormous tic-tac-toe board. I know this. I think Brian does, too. He's shaking his head. I'm sorry, Dr. Pepper. Whoopi Goldberg was on this. My grandma made me watch this. It was a... Is it Celebrity, like... Celebrity Square or something like that? I can't answer your questions. You can only answer mine. Is Celebrity Square is your final answer? 
Yeah, I guess. Well, it is Hollywood Squares. Hollywood, Hollywood Square. Squares. All right. Close. So you're at three points. You can tie Essa Blue here. Name five types of natural disasters. Oh, okay. Um, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions. That is a sweep. Five for five. That'll also put you at eight points. We currently have a two-way tie for first place. We're going to move over to Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, how's it going? Pretty nice. Although I'm seeing a lot of cubes right now popping up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> So we have, uh, Dr. Pepper's been on the show before with Fire Tiger, and in fact, Dr. Pepper also hosts and does a lot of video production for the Disc Golf Examiner. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, so tell the folks at home, what kind of real quick, what is Disc Golf? Why would somebody want to play that game? Uh, why wouldn't you want to play that game? That's my question. Um, basically, think of Disc Golf as... Your regular golf, but you play it with frisbee-shaped discs, and you throw instead of into a hole, you throw into a basket, and the basket's comprised of metal chains. So it sounds awesome whenever you make your putt. You can't get that awesome sound from regular ball golf. That's so true. I may I may give that a try. Are you ready for your questions? Yeah. Here we go. According to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. What is the ultimate answer to life, the universe, and everything? Love. Incorrect. I think. Am like, I? Fire Am Tiger. Am I? <laughs> Once, Fire Tiger's putting her arm around you. Well, hey, let me unmute Lola because she loves this answer. Go ahead, Lola. What? What? What was the question? Uh, <laughs> I thought you knew. I thought you popped back on because you knew the answer. According no, to, I came to show my pretty face. Uh, of, uh, according to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, what is the ultimate answer to life? Fire the, the, <laughs> all right, Fire Tiger. Or, all right, Dr. Pepper. Hollywood's largest and busiest studio is also a popular theme park. What film studio is it? Hollywood's biggest. Uh, that's um, that is uh, I'd, I'd have to say I can only say Paramount. Paramount, incorrect. It is Universal. Universal. Okay. Yeah, I knew that. What type of commercial aired for the last time on December 31st, 1970? It was even during The Tonight Show, I believe. Uh, say that again? What type of commercial aired for the last time on December 31st, 1970? After that date, 14. you would never see this type of commercial again. So, 14 years before I was born. Yes. Do you know that? I, <laughs> I'm going to say the crying Indian on the side of the road. That was definitely the 80s. It was cigarette commercials. All those littering smokers made made the, the litter bug Indian cry. Mm -hmm. Native American. Native American. There we go. Gotcha. And your five-point bonus question for Dr. Pepper. Name the big five animals of Africa. Lion. Elephant. Giraffe. Uh, we'll go... Uh, cheetah. Tiger. <laughs> Tiger. Well, yeah. Lion, elephant, correct. Rhino, Cape Buffalo, 
And this list has leopard as the fifth, but I would say a giraffe is bigger than a leopard. So I'll give you giraffe. Yeah, thank you. We'll confirm that list later. It'll put you. At- I agree. Hippopotamus to be on. It's possible. Is a hippo from Africa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't say hippo. You said rhino. <laughs> we got four. We got four. I mean, do do rhinos kill that much? They mostly eat plants. I, look, I don't make these. You guys act like I make these lists. <laughs> What's that, Lola? The list is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's hassle the host night <laughs> yeah well i always do you if you ever listen to the show you should know that i always argue with the host <laughs> i've been waiting for five days to record this show and you guys give me nothing but crap <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right we're gonna move over to lola lola welcome back hello it's been uh, you've been been quite the absence haven't seen you in a while but here we are on episode 40 um, you were one of the early players to join us way early on, back on Blab, which uh, we the Blab had its ups and its downs, and I think we were there during the best part of Blab. <laughs> <laughs> I was the best part of Blab. <laughs> of course, of course. So, Lola, welcome back to the show. Are you ready for your questions? Oh, I'm totally ready. Hit me on, baby. All right. How many U.S. states border... Okay, I'm the best. <laughs> Lola is from Canada. Uh, from living Fra- in Canada. Fra- uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I got it wrong. Lola's from France, living in Canada. And this is okay, give it a try. I think you're going to know this one. You'll be surprised. Okay, uh, go. How many U.S. states border the Pacific Ocean? The Pacific Ocean? Yes. So, wait, there's California? There is <laughs> California. <laughs> <laughs> How many times does okay, California okay. border the Pacific Ocean? <laughs> uh, oh my God. Okay, I'm going to say five. Five? You yeah. are unbelievably correct. No way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hawaii, Alaska, California, Washington, Oregon. How about uh. that? I should have said 42, but okay. <laughs> Here comes, actually, all of your questions are United States based. Here's your second one. What Pennsylvania theme park is owned by a candy company? Hershey. Hershey Land. is correct. And I'm not that bad. <laughs> here we go, one more. What famous news channel has its headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia? Fox News? Fox News, incorrect. It is CNN. CNN is really? Atlanta, Georgia. Well, here's the good news. You do have a chance for five more points. Okay, go, 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 go. And you can tie, a three-way tie. It is a United States states question, but it's close to you, so I think you have a chance. Name the five states that border New York. Uh, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, uh, New Jersey. Oh, man, come on, people, help me. Uh, I got three. I only missed two. You are three for um, three I'm, so far. Three for two, yeah. But then, uh, one second. Do I have a time limit on this? There's no time limit. Okay, so what about Virginia? No, South Carolina? No, Florida? Hell no. Uh, I Massachusetts and do Canada count? Canada's not a state. You have four. You're four for four. You Massachusetts <laughs> um, is correct. Will you force and uh, uh, okay and okay? I'm gonna go for a guess and I'm gonna go for 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 Rhode Island. Rhode Island is incorrect. Incorrect. It is Vermont. You're looking at Vermont. Would have given you 
Oh. Eighth point. Alola, so close. Well played, though. For uh, We always say that the questions always seem to line up in the worst way possible. <laughs> that was a very heavy stateside question, but you still did really well. Yeah, I did better than I thought I was. Yeah. I'm impressed by my US, uh, geography. <laughs> yeah, well, you got the ocean question and uh, Hershey. And almost swept the five-point bonus question. Very well played. Fuck Rhode Island. I've never been to Rhode Island. I knew why. I know why. <laughs> I'm never going to step foot in Rhode Island. Yeah, never. <laughs> never. Rhode Island will okay, never so, know Lola. Good night. <laughs> and have fun, everyone. I'll see you to the next recording. Thank you, Lola. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We are in the final round. First time player, Essa Blue, tied with a previous champion, Fire Tiger. They're going to battle it out head to head in the final round after the, um, actually the whole way through this round, because we are going to do some tri bonds and then, but stealing is available. So if you miss your question, your opponent can steal the question and get the point. So, Essa, you were for... Is Essa okay or Essa Blue? I'll do the whole thing. Oh, Essa's, Essa's fine. <laughs> Essa. It's like a first name, last name thing. <laughs> All right. Essa, you were, went first in the first round, so we'll continue that. Your first question, what we're going to do is try bonds. Uh, if you're not familiar with a try bond, I'm going to give you three words, and they connect something together, not Zelda's Triforce. That's different there, <laughs> uh, Fire Tiger. Um, <laughs> So if I say, for example, tree, car, and elephant, what connects those three words together? Trunk. Trunk. Yeah. Trunk. Look at that. In unison. So here we go. Essa, your first word, scratch, rack, break. Pool. Pool. Though. Yeah, correct. They're all terms associated with pool or billiards. And over to fire tiger. Eddie, Lily, Herman. The Monsters. <laughs> the Monsters. I wrote that question just for Brian. Or <laughs> for uh, Dr. Pepper. He's like, oh, he's like just, I did not. It just happened to show up that way. Uh, I got the look. Dun, dun. All right. Over to Essa Blue. A courtroom, a dugout, and a park. What do those three things have in common? They all have a bench. They all have a bench. Two for two so far. Fire Tiger. Holding. Interference. Boarding. What do those three things have in common? Football. Incorrect. SF with the steel. Basketball. Incorrect. It is <laughs> hockey. Boarding. Oh, boarding. Eh, boarding. Yes, 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 yes. Go Pens. Go Pens. <laughs> There's no ice here. <laughs> There's no ice in Mississippi. No. All right, back to Essa. Some of the winners of this reality television show are Joan Rivers, Arsenio Hall, and Brett Michaels. What show is it? Nice steal. Uh, lip sync battle? She has the answer incorrect. <laughs> Fire Tiger for the steal. The Apprentice. You're fired. It is the Celebrity Apprentice, but I'll give it to you for okay. the Apprentice. <laughs> and in, this is Fire Tiger's question. In auto racing, the checkered flag means you are finished. Okay. Green means start. Red means stop, and yellow means caution. What does a white flag mean? Go. <laughs> Incorrect. Essa for the steal. Are you a big NASCAR? Start your engine. Incorrect as well. It is the last <laughs> lap. The last lap is okay. the white flag. This question <laughs> goes back to Essa. Annette is the middle name of what blind side actress? Uh, 
um, oh, what is her name? Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock is correct. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Fire Tiger. Uh, yes. Let's see. I don't even know how to say this word. I might spell it. Let's see. Anosmia. A N O S M I A. Anosmia is the medical term for the loss of which sense? Anosmia is what you said? A N O S M I A. Anosmia. I'm going to just guess and say taste. Taste is incorrect. Else, no. Essa for the steel. Touch? Touch is incorrect, too. I thought the, the NOS would give it away. The nose is a. Well, medical stuff is always out to get you. <laughs> yeah. That's how they make it's more money. Everything it's supposed to be. Yeah. It is the sense of smell. Dang it. Your, your tail band's called a Cossacks, you yeah. know, like. <laughs> of course it is. Right. All right, over to, back to Essa. What band contained the three brothers, Brian, Carl, and Dennis Wilson? The Beach Boys. Beach Boys is correct. We are at, at four to two, oh. Fire Tiger. There's still uh, five questions left. It's still anybody's game. Which of Christopher Columbus's three ships sank on the return trip to Europe. You always hear the good things about Columbus. This is, one of them didn't make it. You have a 33% chance on this one. I know, there was three. The Pinta? The Pinta, incorrect. Essa with a 50% chance of getting it right. Your odds I'm going to go with... The Santa Maria. The Santa Maria is correct. Yay! That is correct. This is Essa's question. The original manufacturers reportedly used 80 feet of wire to make what toy in the 1940s? Oh, the Barbie. Slinky is correct. Fire Tiger's ready for the steal, and then de uh. <laughs> deflated. All right, Fire Tiger. Name three of the four C's that are standard by which diamonds are judged. Carrot, cut, clarity. You want to go four for four? Um, and carrot, cut, clarity, teach, teach color. Teach Dr. Pepper a lesson. That's a uh, is it color? It is color, but you don't get the bonus point. You do get the correct answer. <laughs> hey. Hear that, honey? <laughs> Carrot, cut, clarity, and color. I, I, like, I don't like these questions at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to Essa. Be All You Can Be was an advertising slogan for what? The Army. The Army, correct. And wrapping it up. You can get two points if you sing the answer. Oh, I like to sing. <laughs> what musical's most memorable songs included Tomorrow and It's the Hard Knock Life? It was Annie. Do you want me to sing it? Sing it whatever you want, yeah. Okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow, <laughs> I love you, tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. That That's only a day away. That's only a day It's tomorrow. <laughs> It's only, it's, tomorrow. it's only 32 minutes away. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that is worth two points, but that will wrap the game up. That gives Fire Tiger five points in the final round, and Essa Blue, first time caller, first time player, first time on Stuff I Never Knew, with a total of seven points, and the winner tonight. Congratulations. <laughs> Good uh, job. Yes. That's so worth not Ubering. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's taking a break from. Uh, if we could talk about, it, she's taking a break from driving. 
just to come play the game. I was so impressed. And she's been trying to get on the show, but I can never get four players. So it paid off. Uh, the big winner tonight on the very special episode number 40, Cocktails or Monkeys. Essa Blue walks away as the winner. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm so glad. I've been wanting to play for so long, and I was like, man, I know I can win this. <laughs> I did it. Well, glad to have you on the show. I want to thank all my players tonight. I had Essa Blue from Mississippi, Fire Tiger, and Dr. Pepper from Western Pennsylvania, and longtime show favorite Lola, who's from France, who lives in Canada. Uh, thank you, everybody, for playing. This was a lot of fun. We'll see you next week. Yay! Bye! Oh, you don't have to leave yet. I'm just uh, no. that's just the end of the show.